what's happening guys all right moto zombie here what's going on so thought I would jump on today take the bike to work beautiful day a bit cold kind of freezing my ass off here but it's well worth it uh, so in my last video I talked about upgrades to the NC well I went and did it I ordered the seat yesterday I ordered the um, Chad seat, Shad, that's Shad seat, I'm sorry. Yeah, I ordered the Shad seat. And I wanted the one that had the red X embroidered on the back of the seat between the uh, pavilion seat and uh, the front seat, but they didn't have it. So the guy sent me an email, said we can give you the gray or the no embroidery for no extra charge kind of weird. I had the red bike. I thought the red X would look kind of cool, but that's fine. So I got the uh, gray embroidered 700X with the black seat. Now, it's supposed to be a good upgrade to the stock seat. Um, so that's supposed to come in this week. And of course, I'll do a video on that. The other thing is I bought a Ram phone mount for my cell phone because listening to music with my phone in my jacket or GPS or anything like that is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I do have the SMH10 headset, Bluetooth headset, and uh, that streams the music into the helmet which is kind of cool. So I bought the RAM mount so that I can mount it to the handlebars right down here. Uh, what else did I get? I also picked up a new helmet. Nothing special. It's just a built modular helmet. Um, it, it's got to be a lot lighter than the one that I have now, but it also has the integrated sun shield. Um, the helmet I have now is one from my BMW that I had, and it was cheap to begin with. Um, you know, getting in back, I should say getting back into riding, between jacket, gloves, shoes, you know, boots, the bike, you know, it, it cost a lot of money, so I had to kind of spend wisely. Granted, I don't like skimping on anything that's supposed to protect my melon, but I kind of had no choice. Had to buy two helmets then, and but anyway, I ramble on. Uh, I did buy a flat. A uh, matte finish black built modular, um, not the one with the Bluetooth built in, only because I have the headset already. No sense getting a helmet with a headset. So I have to mount the camera to it. Um, I also have another camera. I got the Contour Roam, which I'm going to mount on the front of the bike here, looking back to do kind of a multi-view. So that should kind of be pretty cool. So those are the upgrades so far. Uh, the seat was like 200, no, it was like $349 shipped, I think it was. $349 shipped right from Shad, coming out of Florida. Uh, they shipped it same day. So it's only like four days to get to me in New England here. Looking forward to that. Um, I do notice the, uh, the butt gets sore on longer rides, you know, anything over 100 miles or even 50, 50 to 75 miles, I noticed um, a lot of numbing and, and pain in the butt. So, they should also address the front slope issue. There's like a slight slope forward on the uh, seat that I talked about in one of my previous videos. So I'm hoping that addresses that problem as well. If not, I'll make some modifications to it. But the seat got great reviews. The RAM mount for the cell phone is, you know, one of the best mounts you can get. It's very versatile. I can probably mount the camera to it if I want to. So that was worth the, the 56 bucks, 58 bucks that I paid for the RAM mount, which I'll be putting on probably the same time I put the seat on. Now, going through other upgrades, I looked at some saddlebags, some panniers, um, the canvas ones. 
you know, nothing, nothing crazy, because I won't use them that much, but just for traveling when I do any kind of longer distance or, you know, moto camping, I think a pair of uh, saddlebags will work nicely. So what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, Got to do an oil change. I'm going to try to do that in the next couple days. So I will film that. I'm going to try to use that roller that I posted in a previous video to do the chain maintenance. Just degrease the, train, the chain and then uh, re-lube it. But my fingertips are frozen. My legs are frozen. It is cold. I mean, it's probably only like 40 degrees, which isn't even really that cold, but for some reason, it's got to be more colder than 40. I think I warm up my hands a little. I'm just wearing a plain leather gloves. My leather riding gloves. All right, well, I'll end that video here, this video. Um, we'll do a quick ride. And, I don't know what the hell is going on with these people, but. Heading out past UNH, University of New Haven, towards Southern University of Connecticut. All right, where are you going, dude? Are you really? Man, you gotta watch everybody. Especially in the city. You know, out in the country, you gotta worry about hitting deer and animals. Here, it's a whole different type of animal. Again, this is Moto Zombie signing out. If you haven't done so already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up, share, comment. I answer all my comments. So if you have any questions at all, anything about the bike, anything about anything really, um, hell, I could even answer where babies come from. So leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, ride safe.